Now he's accused of posing as a police officer to sexually assault at least four women and investigators think there could be more victims out there. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Snyder. I'm Reed Cowan in for Marie Mortera tonight. News 3's Nathan O'Neill has our top story. He joins us live in downtown Las Vegas, where most of those assaults took place. Yeah, well, the first victim to step forward actually did so in Arizona, telling police there that she had been sexually assaulted by a man who claimed to be a police officer here in Las Vegas. It was that tip that opened up this investigation. Authorities say he's an imposter. 34-year-old Jesus Carvajal accused of posing as a police officer with a fake badge and a gun, attacking at least four women in the Las Vegas area since May. It took a lot of work to uh, get the victims to come forward. Sergeant William Machko leads the Southern Nevada Human Trafficking Task Force. If we get an allegation that someone is posing as a police officer and do, doing something illegal, we will go to the ends of the earth to make sure that that person is brought to justice. Police say Carvajal would lure sex workers into his car. The moment they would discuss a price for a sexual act, he would claim to be an undercover detective and force the victims to perform sex acts. It has happened quite a bit. Annie Lobert is a former sex worker, but now she works to rescue trafficking victims. The girls actually here at Destiny House, some of them told me that they have had men impersonate police officers with fake badges and they believe them they were scared to death police fear there could be even more victims suffering in silence all afraid to speak up don't fear any repercussions but we need to know what happened so that we can have a clear picture of exactly uh, what the suspect's been up to and carvajal is currently locked up tonight no bail he's expected in court early next week reporting live tonight in downtown las vegas nathan o'neill news three Nate, thank you for that.